Hey, what's going on, guys? And thanks for watching WeirdBot. My name's Aiden, and today we're gonna be playing the story of B stories of Betham Full Moon Edition. This is our second playthrough of it, and it's pretty great, guys. I got these purple balls. I got this shit going on with this adventure. It's getting crazy. There's a blue witch. There's a red witch. There's these hearts and purpley dots that I don't really know fully. I guess magic. And we're getting into it, guys. Because what this game's about, guys, is you have to just destroy this lady's plants and steal all her money. Her sweet blue and purple and golden uh, circles. And if you don't do that, guys, you just lose the game. You just, you're not, you're not playing the game right if you're not just wrecking all of these bushes and boulder and uh, barrels. <laughs> Oh man, and falling into huge chasms, just infinite chasms of sadness and terror. These are the things that, that you can encounter in the real world, guys. This is, this is a life lesson if I've ever seen one. Uh, if you come in contact with a gaping deep chasm, do not fall in. Don't fall in because it, it will make you scream and cry and infinitely just fall into nothingness. So yeah, guys, don't fall into random black holes that you find on the ground. You have to fill them with these rocks. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm leaving. I'm out of here. I'm going. Oh, not going to Grandmother Mayberry's house. Dun, 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 dun. But I'm falling in the same hole I just fell in. Great. T rip. I can't get up now. Come on. I can't give up now. I just started my adventure. And through the, ooh, coins, 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 coins. Me, my dreadlocks, these coins and that blue thing. Ah, no, no, let's not do that. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. We had some some technical uh, difficulty. Uh, hey, and a, and a boneless Kirby. Look at that. A wild boneless Kirby appeared. Oh, nice. Ooh, I blew up a chest. Things are getting things are getting pretty hot and heavy over here, guys. This game's getting pretty crazy. And into the into the uh, vagina in the wall in the in this game. Ah, hi, it's the Red Witch. A fool you are, handsome. What a fool you are, handsome. Oh, she's hitting on me. Perfect, terrific. I'm a witch, if you didn't know. So I have to hit on everybody. I forget. What are you doing here? Cause I have dementia. <laughs> I wanted to see my sister, the green witch, or, or no, the blue witch, the, the, ah, what color is she, the pink, the magenta, she said it last week when I met, <laughs> uh, but the road is closed, so I'm going back home, and you, weird traveler, I'm looking for your secret warehouse, she's like, too bad, my handsome, <laughs> she's really making an effort to hit on this young kid, man. Or I guess he, he might not be a young kid. I don't know. Uh, I missed some important dialogue. I'm going home. I, I'll wait for you to get my candle. If you know what I mean. <laughs> but seeing how you work, I don't... Seeing how you work, I don't think you'll ever get it. Find these warehouse somewhere else. And she left me. She left me to my silence and my thoughts in this cave of wonder and mystery. Yay! Yeah. Ooh shit! Ooh shit! A bat! Oh shit! That's scary, guys. That's scary. Hey, it's coming at me. Eh? Hey, hey, yeah, they're both coming at me, guys. Yeah. Oh no, guys. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Ooh, I got him. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I took out this baddie. I took out this bad guy. Ooh, another purple. Nice. I am just racking up purples, guys. Thumbs up if you're you're just in love with the purple. Oh gosh, okay, which way? I'm going this way. Oh nice, I got a radish. I got a radish. You found an unknown sad face. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> uh, and heart. Um, I'm just picking up live human hearts out of bushes. That's a thing that happens, guys. Uh, life lesson, kids. Uh, if you're ever in, uh, if you're ever hurt or mortally wounded, don't go to the hospital. Go straight to your nearest bush, pull out a heart, and just eat it. And just eat a, a live, just stick it in your pocket, save it for later, whatever you gotta do. But eventually, you're gonna have to consume that heart, that bush heart, as, as we call them in the medical profession. Says Dr. Aiden, PhD. <laughs> P, P H P C P. <laughs> that's my that's my professional title, Doctor P C P. <laughs> uh, 
and more bush hearts. You see, guys, that you will never in your entire life like jump off of buildings, do whatever you want to do, because ultimately, in the end, don't, by the way, disclaimer: do not actually jump off buildings. Let's not. But <laughs> um, yeah, just go ahead, guys. Just jump off buildings because there are freaking hearts and bushes, which is that's actually pretty normal for video games. And I guess I guess they had to put them somewhere for players to find them. Like that's like a pretty normal convention in video games or whatever. But damn it, that is the weirdest sounding thing. Like I'm gonna make this story right, and you play it right, and you get to do decision making and things in the story right. I love that. Yeah, and then whenever you're hurt, you just are gonna consume hearts out of uh, bushes that you find and destroy. Uh, within the landscape to make it look look beautiful and also about hearts and bushes and consuming live hearts or I guess they're not necessarily live but consuming hearts oh gosh oh gosh all oh, these pink Kirby's are coming after me oh yeah and getting their hearts as well getting other animals uh, hearts that you just murdered um, and sacrificed and just devouring them you know for your own for your own conquest of of the of the demon realm <laughs> This ah these freaking ads blue ones they're like they're like the other flavor of uh, cotton candy they're like the blue ones ah gosh ah gosh uh, one second guys I will be right back. Hey, what's going on, guys? Sorry, I'm back. Um, yeah, I had I had to take a break for one momento. I had some some amazing top secret important stuff to do away from the microphone. I had to fight a ninja. Uh, I had to I had to up shit. <laughs> I had to fall in empty chasms. I was in fact I was digging one of these empty chasms uh, in my in my kitchen, guys. I was just doing that just now. One of these uh, <laughs> and they suck you in like quicksand. They're they're little black holes. So guys, at the end of this video, if you want to give a like, uh, or a, a subscribe, or a comment, or whatever, you guys can definitely, I'll teach you, I'll teach you uh, personally how to make one of these infinite uh, chasming black holes in your kitchen, if you'd like. Uh, it's a great decoration piece, family fun, you know, a great way to, uh, to uh, punish the kids, just throw them in the... Uh, the uh, infinite chasm of darkness for a weekend, you know, that'll teach them, that'll get them off the iPhone, right guys? I mean, <laughs> I'm probably pandering to the wrong audience right now, but you know, <laughs> you know guys who are also probably uh, living with their parents or just stopped within the last few years living with their parents, you guys know what I mean, right? Ugh. I sound like I sound like um like an SNL skit where the um where they get like adults to play like 40-year-old adults pretending to be like um like drug resource officers or whatever pretending to be uh teenagers and they just they look so ridiculous. They have like two short shirts on and shit. Like their their like stomachs are hanging out and stuff and they're just like, "Hey, hey fellow youths. Hey fellow youths, where can I buy some drugs some illegal substances <laughs> and it's just the funniest shit guys I love SNL it is great oh man but sometimes it has its its off times you know I, I definitely have seen that where it has not the best material but for the most part the writers are like hilarious they've been doing their thing on there for so long and I mean it's it's pretty great I have to say they are a shining tribute to comedy if I do say so myself like so many great people have come from SNL and I don't know how we got on that to well yeah I do okay I know how we got on that topic but let's not worry about my rambling I found a magic bundle your mmp increased by two guys I'm glad my mmp went up um, I don't know what I would have done without my ump, you know, I really, I, j I fucking needed that ump, guys, you know me, I'm, I'm always craving the next, the next little ump boost, you know, I'm always looking for that ump boost, it's, uh, I guess magic points, magic power, 
Magica. Magica the Gathering. <laughs> oh man, guys. Uh, I wish I could break these, uh, these, like, stalagmites or whatever that are just fucking everywhere. If I could break those guys, I'd be, I'd be invincible. Also, I know we're starting at the beginning, guys, right? Well, not at the beginning. I mean, I have a save point, but I know we started, like, at the beginning of the map. I don't know why they put me there, but I have my same powers and stuff that I did last time. For anyone that's tuning in from the first episode. Oh, man. I just, I have to figure out how to get over there. I have two more magic, but I can't get over there yet. Ooh, and a heart. And more, ooh, leafy greens. Okay. What are we gonna do? Alright, what are, what are we gonna do, guys? Guys, what are we gonna do? Guys, I'm just getting really worried here, guys. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna get out of this cave. I don't know if we're gonna make it, guys. Come on, do you believe? Do you believe in, in Christmas magic? Do you believe in the Tooth Fairy? Maybe you don't believe in any of that shit, but maybe... Maybe you believe in this dreadlocked blonde kid. Believe in that, guys. If nothing else, believe in this dreadlocked blonde kid's ability to to blow up boxes with his breath and his spit. Believe in that. <laughs> they should have like some really, uh, really motivational like music in the background of that.